Hello, mate. Look at this. That sun just creeping through those two buildings. Like two boundaries. I was thinking about boundaries today. And in toxic relationships, when you set boundaries, that's when you find out the extent of how toxic whatever situation you're in is or isn't. Um, if somebody allows your boundaries and doesn't resist your boundaries and respects your boundaries, then you're not in a toxic relationship. You're in a healthy relationship. I've heard those exist. <laughs> Hello, mate. Um, God, I love the sun. Let's not dim it for anyone. No, but, um, and just how the boundary situation really just like manifests in so many different areas of life. Um, I was thinking this thing Peter Gabriel always uh, said to me, which was never drop a name. Get it? I'm just joking. Because I'm dropping his name. No, but he said to me, uh, back when he first signed me to his label, he would tell me this story about him opening up for Frank Zappa and how every night the audience would uh, try to boo him off the stage. And uh, every night, like when you, people who are musicians who know, know this about being an opener is, is not an easy task. Um, oftentimes the band audience you're opening for will not accept you. And this was the case with Peter Gabriel when he was opening up with Frank Zappa. And every night they would start booing him, you know, try to boo him off the stage. And then one night, uh, he just, like the, the barrage of boos came and uh, he got this big smile on his face. Cause he realized that the boos couldn't, a touch, they couldn't touch him. They couldn't affect him. And so the, it, it became this source of tremendous power, that knowledge. And that's an example of a boundary. Like he didn't allow the boos of the audience to break through the boundary of his uh, self-esteem, his musical self-esteem or his, or his, or his uh, overall identity. And it became a source of power. And that's when like booze can actually become like, um, almost like cheers in this, in this kind of weird way, because it's almost like a cheer of self reliance. You know, it's almost like when the crowd is going against you and yet you still stand strong, that's, that's, uh, an incredible moment of evolution. Um, I think we live in a time when we're terrified to uh, stand um, in our own beliefs and, and speak our own mind and speak our opinions when they might, when we might get booed from the crowd. Um, and I guess what I would like to say is don't be so terrified of the boos. The boos aren't all bad. The boos uh, can become cheers in a certain kind of way. When you realize that you don't have to be, you don't have to let the boos define you. Um, so yeah, it's another form of boundaries. Like when you're in a toxic relationship, if you set up a boundary against the toxic entity or, or, or you will, the toxic entity will reveal itself with your boundary. It won't reveal itself before you step, before you try to define a boundary. Um, the nature of toxic relationships is enmeshment um, and no boundaries. And so you find out if a relationship is toxic or, or not when setting a boundary. So, and, and that can also translate to all across society and all across everything that we do, the autonomy of ourselves, at, you know, and, and our own thoughts and feelings. Nowadays, if you sort of state, oh, I don't want you to cross a certain line with me, that can offend a lot of people. Um, now we're getting into a situation where it's even uh, the 
boundaries of our own skin, our own flesh and blood are being questioned and um, and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's an interesting time to, to be alive um, and to think about those things. But, um, you know, just like a plane needs, w was resistant wind to elevate itself, it's okay to have resistance. It's okay to, um, to, uh, to, to, to play in front of crowds that will boo you because then ultimately you become Peter Gabriel and you, and you take over the world. <laughs> well, in his case, that's what happened. Anyway, so yeah, just, uh, you know, keep your boundaries. Stay strong, stay true to yourself. Don't be terrified to, uh, to speak your mind and to, uh, to face resistance and, and even ridicule because uh, sometimes sometimes the boos aren't right you know I bet I bet you Peter Gabriel was pretty great when he opened up for Frank Zappa <laughs> all right y'all later have a great day just did a, a long five mile run into a hot yoga session feeling good stay healthy stay strong Peace, y'all. I love you.